One more try. <laughs> One more. <sighs> I keep trying and I keep failing. Well, welcome to this day six in Lent. Our scripture today comes from Acts chapter 5, verses 38 to 39a. And it says, So in the present case, I tell you, keep away from these men and let them alone. Because if this plan or this undertaking is of human origin, it will fail. But if it is of God, you will not be able to overthrow them. If the, if the plan is of human origin, there's really not much value, even if it's successful, is what I hear in this. But if it's God-centered, it's important. Andrew Hyde, in this scripture today, reflects on failure and what that means. Today's society does put a big emphasis on failure, that we're to, to be successful, we need to fail first, fail often, and we'll get better and better. Well, there probably is some truth to that. But what's more important, I think, is when we look at, at the failure itself and we really start paying attention to why we failed, we should look to see, is it God-centered or is it of human origin? Why was it we were trying to do what we were trying to do in the first place? We really need to bring our faith, our values, values like justice, uh, reaching out, caring for, for others, following what Jesus taught us to do. If, if it's not about those things, does it really matter if we succeed or fail? I know in my previous career I might have had a success, but if it wasn't God-centered, if it was really only around making rich people richer or something of that nature, it didn't feel much like a success. It really felt kind of blah. <laughs> really didn't have much meaning. But when my attention turned to things of God, things of the Spirit, things that really mattered, then failure mattered. I didn't want to fail, not for my own value, but for what we were trying to achieve through what we we're taught by God through Jesus Christ to learn from and to grow from. Yes, I've made a few failures along the way, and I've licked my wounds and I've picked myself up. But if those failures are for God, well, I'll call them glorious failures because I'm really trying to do what God calls me to do. I'll look at it, I'll work harder at it, success will come. Success comes better when we do it together. That's why it's so important to be part of a faith family where you can come together and join together in these journeys. Failure or success come as they may. That's what we need to do. What are some of your experiences of failure? Were they God-centered failure, glorious failures, trying to do the right thing that we're taught? Or was it for some other reason? Did you learn from them? Did you grow from them? I think these are the important things in life, what we're taught to be. Anyway, let's pray. Holy God, we give thanks for the opportunity to serve, to serve others, to follow in the footsteps of Jesus, who taught us to care for others, love others, and serve the poor. And in the poor and the marginalized, there is God. As we look into their face, we do see God. Help our missions, help our work be to serve. In this we pray. Amen. Well, I hope you have a good day six in Lent. Whatever it is you're working on, I hope it's success for you. And I hope it's God-centered too. I'd love to hear from you at LentonFaith uh, at gmail.com. That would be wonderful. Whatever it is, keep trying. God bless. We'll see you soon. Now, let's see. How does this work? Oh. I'll keep working on it.